Friends, I just got notification that my Sephora package came in the mail and I'm super super excited about it because I did order the new um, Sephora Pro palettes. There is a cool tone palette, a warm tone palette, and an editorial palette. So I ordered two of them. I ordered the um, cool tone palette and the editorial and I have the package here. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm super excited. Here we go. I've never done an unboxing before. This is so exciting. Ah. So this is basically the editorial one. So it comes in this really cute black packaging with blue writing. So the cool tone does have the silver one. Um, and I'm assuming the warm tone probably has the gold. On the back of the palette, just kind of shows you what it looks like. This one is, again, the editorial one. So you have all the really, really nice bright shades in it. Super exciting about this because I need some more bright shades in my collection. So, and then you have the cool tone, which has all like the lighter pink, some purple, some little greens over here. Who's excited to see it? I'm excited to see it. I don't think I've ever been this excited. I really hope it swatches good. Because if it doesn't, that'd be very disappointing. This is actually surprisingly heavy. These palettes do retail for $85 Canadian, which is, now that I see, everyone's like, oh my god, it's so expensive. But, you know, for the quality of this palette, this is a damn heavy palette. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Look at the colors in this palette. I am very impressed. Look at this bad boy. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that. Oh my god, guys. It almost looks like a Natasha Denona palette, not gonna lie. But like, way cheaper. So impressed. Okay, so let's swatch these bad boys and see because I am like hyping it up hardcore right now and I haven't even swiped it. So, swatched it. I'm actually really excited about this life right now. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go into the editorial one now. Um, there's a few shades that are calling to me and I won't hit them up. So, going into the palette, this one's called Amy. And it is literally like a neon coral. Huh! Um, Eliza D. Helen P. Is this guy right here? Oh. Oh my god. I really hope these, like, don't blend patchy. Oh my gosh. And this one is called Jeffrey. It's a neon green. Quartz. It's this nice shimmery, oh my god, pink. This one's called Carolyn. Oh my god. Look how metallic those are. I'm gonna go in with Wendy G. Oh, this one's called Ice. A little bit looser in pigment, so you're gonna want to either wet it. Oh, shite. Best purchase I've ever made in my entire life. I really hope they go on the eyeballs just as good. So I'm just gonna dip into the Cool Tone palette. So it actually comes like this. I'll try not to blind you guys to the camera. Kind of sucks, but anyways. Um, so it comes with this little insert, which kind of sucks. I wish they would literally, like, put them on the palette because I'm not going to keep this thing laying around. Um, I guess I have to to kind of describe what colors I'm using. Um, but every one has a name. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Okay. Look at this palette. That's some good-ass colors right there. I'm going to go in with the shade Fog. This one is Croqui. Croqui, it's like a reddish, berryish, 
beautifulness. This one right under it is Orchid. Sorry, I'm not flipping you guys off. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, so this one that I'm kind of dipping into right now, it's called Pink Champagne. Um, this one I would probably, well, I would definitely use like a glitter glue with. Yes, honey. So that's compared to it. So that's a glitter glue that's by itself. Um, even though I use it with my finger, it doesn't really come off that well. Um, but if you use the glitter glue, then it works just fine. And I'm just going to go in lastly with Rosewood just to show you. Oh, oh this is so pretty. It's like, it's like a burgundy-ish, um, but it has some blue flecks in it. That's gorgeous. Well done, Sephora. So exciting. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyeballs with one of these because I'm super excited. Um, I'll probably end up mixing the palettes just to see. I don't really know yet. Um, I feel like I look like ass right now. So I just actually dyed my hair. So I want to do something fun and see Bay for the first time with my new hair. You can't really see in here, but it's a little bit more blonder. I ombre it. it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm O. Get on this right now. Okay. Okay, bye. So I'm going to go in with mushrooms. So that's the shade right here. It's a nice cool tone. Grage, we'll say. I'm just going to start by putting this in my crease. So far, so good, kids. And then I'm going to go in with Fog, which is the one next to it, right here. Same brush. I'm just, ooh. Just do one dip because these things are hella pigmented. And I'm just going to put this in the lower crease. Tab off your brush because they are um, really soft shadows, so they do have fallout. I'm just going to build up the intensity in the crease. I'm just doing little tiny circular motions. I love this color. I'm like living for this right now. Yes. Yes. <sighs> okay, and then just kind of sticking with the same theme going on, I'm going to go in with uh, what's called graphite. And it is the one right next to it. So I just used these three so far. So I'm going to go with this one right here. And then we're just going to keep this more on the outer corner. So I'm just going in with a clean pencil brush. I'm going to take that mushroom color again and just do a quick sweep under the eye. I need a mirror for this life. Just connect it up to the, the blue there. Blue, gray, blue, gray, you know. Take a little bit of that fog. Just to buff it out and diffuse the edges. What do I want in the lid? Tool, which is the shimmery one right at the top. Glitter glue. Glitter glue by Too Faced. Take a little detailed brush, a little flat detail brush. Dip into your glue. And I'm just going to focus mainly on the center and then bring it up to the crease. So we're covering this whole area that's white, like white basically. All this bare space. Grab the product 
And then we'll just lay it on. However pretty, this one has like um, almost like a pinky glitter in it. Pat it down. Um, just to blend the two colors together a little bit more, I'm going to be going in with Ash. And this one is a little shimmery one right here. This one I don't think you're going to need glitter glue with it because it just looks like a pressed um, like glitter shadow. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of that. Just tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to dust it over this area here. Ugh. It literally looks wet. I'm gonna put some of this on my lower lash line. I freaking love this shadow. A little bit of powder, which is this color right here, just on my brow bone. Oh, ah, it has like a slight sheen to it, which is nice. Um, yeah. So what I think about these palettes, I think you guys already know. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm so happy with them. Um, the eyeshadows that I used were super, super creamy and blendable. I didn't have any problems with them. Um, I didn't notice that a couple of them were a little bit more buttery than the other ones, as in, like, when I, I could dip into one and I would have, like, almost, like, kickback on it, um, whereas other ones I wouldn't, which, I mean... I don't really care about, to be honest. Um, the Anastasia one has hella kickback and it works just fine. Um, these eyeshadows are super creamy, super buttery. They have amazing color, super pigmented, and very, very blendable. So I already told a couple of my friends to go and grab it because they are bomb.com. So all I can say is for the actual glittery ones. There are some like shimmery ones which are totally fine to be used by themselves um, but there are some glittery ones which I strongly suggest either wetting them. Um, some of them are like more of a metallic where you would be able to wet them and then apply them but other them other ones are like straight up glitter pressed so um, I would strongly suggest using a glitter glue like I did. Other than that the majority of them are matte so I mean, you shouldn't really have a problem with the majority of the palette. There's not really anything I have to say bad about them. Nope. So thanks for watching this video slash tutorial slash swatch thing, whatever it is. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.